Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your very first time joining me, my name is Altavis and this is Makeup Hues and Views. Now in this particular video, I am going to be unboxing the March 2020 Boxy Charm Premium Box. That is the, the Fenty X Boxy Charm Collab. I am so excited about that. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. opening this box I wanted to give you guys a quick explanation I have been offline for a, I'd say about a week a little bit less than a week or even actually about a week or so um, my my furry baby my dog passed away on uh, a couple days ago we put him down and we had knew that we were gonna take him and put him down so I wanted to spend those days with him and my other dog and that, that pretty much was it, is I just really wanted to spend every time amount of time that I had at home with my sweet baby. So he's since passed, and I've been walking my other dog to help her get adjusted to not having her big brother dog around. So that's it. So those of you, if you have pets, I, I know that you can partly understand that. I just really was not feeling it no makeup or anything so but I am back and let's go ahead and get started let's take a look inside this box together I already opened up the seal but I that's it guys I swear to you I have not opened up this box and I'm excited because I have never oh that is a beautiful box inside I like that design I've never ever had anything by Fenty like I just never got around to buying anything by Fenty so this is really exciting to me this is a beautiful box this is this is everything this is just very 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 exciting so yay now I did put on did do my eyebrows and put on my foundation and concealer so that I can try do a try it as well so let me see, are there different variations that they have for them? Since I know that everyone was getting the same kind of collab, but at the same time, I thought there would be different colors. So I'm curious what's all in here. This is kind of cool here. Let me take a look. Um, let me show you. And then there's something under here too, or maybe that's just the box being propped up. Let me, let me show you guys without knocking anything out. See that? It's got a full box full of things in here, okay? But there's something down below, and I don't know. Oh, I think this is cardboard, so. Okay, that's cool. That's that's an interesting use of space, but okay. Uh, I'm just going to reach in. I don't know. The first thing, I started with the smallest item in terms of size, and that is Fenty by Rihanna, the Mademoiselle Plush Matte lipstick all moods all skin tones all day a perfect a pocket perfect lipstick with a long wearing petal soft matte finish and apparently different shades on there so this shade i have oh very natural looking one griselda if it looks like what it does on this box here let me open this up here so that you guys can take a look and see Pretty container too. Really pretty. I'm trying to get this out of the way here. Okay. I said I was going to try on these things, so I'll be trying them on shortly. But that's the color. It's a very dark, dark, dark color. But that's really cool. I can wear that with a very natural, very natural gold brown eyeshadow and then wear this and I'm good to go. So there's there's the lipstick. I'm going to be trying that on a little bit. I received Invisimat blotting paper. Okay. Um, I don't think I really need to try it on, but I'll show you guys what it is. It's just blotting paper, which I have oily skin. So 
yeah, that is something that I could use. And it is awfully cute little container. It's got a little mirror to it. And that's probably much more attractive than me grabbing at tissue or uh, a napkin at some restaurant just block my face. Got a cute little container to put it, to do it in with a little mirror. So there is that. See, it's got a little mirror on it too. Okay, this is seriously complicated. It's got a little secret little box in it too. Okay, there you go. There's that. And next in here is the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter. This, I think, is something that is she, um, Rihanna's makeup line, Fenty, is very well known for. And this color is Trophy Wife. I think everyone got this color. Let me look here and see. Yes, this is the shade. Iconic Trophy Wife. Light up where you want, when you want, with this weightless long wear cream powder hybrid highlighter. Okay, I'm curious. I got to get into this. Everything, the containers so far are very attractive. I like the packaging. Um, that makes this fun to open because that's something I have been missing out on. I think I'm going to do a video a little bit later, you guys, if you're interested in just my thoughts on makeup and, and just my views on YouTube videos about makeup and subscription boxes and everything. And that is gorgeous that is absolutely gorgeous see that very excited very 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 happy this is this is this is all very very good quality which i think it is the brand has been known to be very good quality this is going to be a very nice experience so next in here is from well, it's from Fenty. It's a Gloss Balm Universal Lip Luminizer. A Gloss Balm. Ooh. Okay. The Ultimate Gotta Have It Lip Gloss in shade Diamond Milk. Wow. Look at that, you guys. That is a lot of gloss, too. And that color. Oh, we are going to be having a lot of fun in the next few minutes. Okay, I admit that's a little addictive, that popping sound. Okay, and we have two more items in here. This is Matchsticks Shimmer Skin Stick. I'm not sure exactly how, how this works. It's a magnetized makeup stick in a long wear light as air shimmer formula to highlight, blush, and enhance. This long wear cream to powder highlighter stick is weightless, blendable, and lives to be layered. Included shade may vary. Okay, so I've got Trophy Wife cream to powder highlighter, and now I've got a shimmer stick. Let's see what the difference is. And the color is confetti. Take a look at this together and I, now I'm kind of curious to see how this works. I think this will all match what I'm wearing. I did just get off work and let my other dog outside and come on in here and tape. So, okay. It's kind of a light purple. You know, if you've ever tried Laffy Taffy candy and the grape flavor of Laffy Taffy, that is exactly what this looks like. One of the grape flavor, what I say, yeah, grape flavor Laffy Taffy because it's a very light purple. That's the shade that I would say this reminds me of. And that's what this is, confetti. I like the stick. It's going to be easy to use on my Cupid's bow. Put maybe some on my nose, my inner eye. It does make it very convenient here. So I'm curious how I'm going to make both of these work. But, and of course... What we all love. Who does not love an eyeshadow palette, right? This is, oh, wow. What's that? This is the Moroccan Spice Eyeshadow Palette. guys 
guys are actually going to see what's inside here sooner than I do if I get this open, right? Well, there's a mirror, so let me be careful with that. I don't want to blind anyone. There's good variation in here of colors. There's um, some nice neutrals that you can see, but then there's a couple colors in here that definitely pop. So, okay. I promised that I was going to... Oh, you guys, the light doesn't do it justice. The camera does not do it justice when I'm looking at these colors now. It does not do it justice because i mean look at this top row i don't know if i can get it any better but look at the shimmer in that top row the way those colors shift i think that's a little bit better okay ah. there we go see that just so you guys can see that these colors on the camera, I'm wondering if they look the same when they really are, they're, they're, there is a variation in these colors here, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this for a minute so I can move this stuff out of the way so we can do a try on. Okay guys, I've got my eyeshadow primer on and a little light dusting of powder blotted my face off and I am ready to go. First, I'm going to start with this color here called come and get it and we go ahead and put that all over my entire lid this is a good just base to lay down for my eyes i think i think on someone with a lighter complexion that this would actually show more but this is just something i want to do just to lay down and get my eyelid all to be one color to even tell me. I can see just a little hint of perhaps a red undertone to it. There. Much better than my other eye. I can tell the difference. Then I'm going to be moving in. Oh, I forgot to mention, I think I'm going to be going with a more neutral eyeshadow look just because of the bold color of this lipstick here so i started off with come and get it all over my entire lid then i'm moving in and i'm taking this crease brush and i'm going to add the color henna c which is this color right here I'm going to add that right to the corner of my eye and in towards my Now, those of you who watch my videos know that I try as much as possible. I understand with blending to use the windshield washer method, but I try as much as possible when I'm applying and laying down my eyeshadow to try to go upwards and out instead of trying to go down with the windshield washer, only because as you get older your gravity starts pulling things down and you're not trying to highlight i'm personally not trying to highlight and emphasize gravity's pull so i'm trying to actually give the effect of a lift here so i'm taking this brush that's at an angle and instead of brushing downwards i'm trying to go flip it the other way and lift upwards with it right at the corner just with a little bit of this and then a little bit towards the inner of my crease of my eye. Just a little bit to highlight my crease bone, that's all. That's all I wanna do there. I'm gonna wipe, go ahead and wipe it down. And then I'm going to go in and take, I don't know why it feels like there's such a commitment to this eyeshadow, like, oh my goodness. But I, I'm just going to pick a color here. It's not going to kill me if I get it messed up, right? I'm going to go in with this side. I'm going to go in with the color right next to it called Spice Trip. Now there is just a little hint of burgundy in there. It's a brown, but it's 
there's just a little hint of burgundy. I'm going to add that to the rest of my crease using the same brush and bring it all the way in here. This eyeshadow is easy to blend. Easy to apply, easy to blend. I'm not in here taking a lot. I don't need very much. There's not very much um, dust, uh, I guess is what you would say, on here coming off the pan. It's almost, it's almost creamy, but it's still definitely powder. Definitely a powder consistency to it. But I notice I'm taking the top of the bristle of this brush and I'm not getting a bunch of cloud um, dust forming on it. But then I'm able to go in and put this right on my eye and it blends out pretty smoothly. It's, it stays in place. It's not all over the place. Fallout. That's the word I'm thinking of, fallout. I'm not getting much fallout from this. And then in there, I like it, I like it, I like it a lot. Next, I think I am gonna go back in with a little bit of my primer here. Just a small bit of the eyeshadow primer. Just a little, little, I'm a little nervous here. I, don't want this to be like a full-on cut crease, but I do want just to make sure and I got here a very fine, oh, that's not going to work. Let me just use my finger. Just, I really want this to kind of pop. I don't want it to be necessarily a cut crease per se, but I still want this color on my lid because they're so beautiful. I really want to make sure that it does really just pop there. I know some of you, I use my fingers a lot. Some of you probably use a brush and you know the number, you know the brand exactly. Got my finger here. Okay, I'm going to go in first just because it's so pretty. Oh, this, this top row, you guys, this, this top row is so gorgeous in, in person. But I think for this one, I'm gonna play with this color right here. That is Casablanca. I should have known that's my favorite, one of my favorite movies in the whole world. So it's only natural that I'd be drawn to something called Casablanca. Just, hmm. I'm looking at it and now I'm thinking that I actually want to do the color next to it, which is called Mirage. Because I think it kind of goes with the same color scheme. So yeah, I'm changing my mind, you guys. I'm gonna go with the color next to it, this color. Color called Mirage, right next to it. It's got a little bit more undertone. To the Casablanca is definitely gold, gold. This one has more of a champagne prosecco color to it that I think will be really nice to complement my the color dress I'm wearing as well as the eyeshadow that I've already put on. I'm gonna go ahead and swipe that. Well, first pat it in. I need to wet my brush. It's not as much shimmer as I thought. It looks a little bit more matte to it, to be honest with you. There still is definitely a pretty shift in the color, but not as much of a pop. That's probably why I was drawn to Casablanca in the first place, because it has kind of like a pop to it. But I do like this one. Especially, again, I think it really goes well with the color of the eyeshadow that I'm wearing, the other eyeshadow colors. And then, right in the corner, I'm going to take Desert Bait. That's this color right 
below Casablanca. I know, this color right here. There we go. This color right here. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put that in the outer part of my actual lid in the corner there. That didn't do much of anything. That didn't do jack. No, it didn't do a darn thing. So let me go back in with my crease brush and add some more of that, the original crease color that I used, which was, no, I used Hennessy. Oh yeah, Hennessy. Okay, when I said it out loud, it sounds much more familiar. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on that outer brow right there. And I like that look very much. So I'm going to go ahead real quick and recreate that same look over here on this eye and then get back with you guys to do my blush, which I'm going to pull from the eyeshadow palette because there wasn't a blush with it. And then I'm going to do the contour, the highlight and lipstick. So yeah. Okay. I finished up my eye look. I went in and in the inner corner of my eye, I did apply a little bit of the Moroccan ice just because I wanted them to pop. I called my eyes to pop a little bit more. So I use that, that white, I use that white color right there in the corner to, to help out. Now for blush, since there wasn't a blush that came in here, but I do see some colors that I think are flattering. I'm going to go ahead and first start light and I'm gonna to try to use this color right here. So it is, I'm gonna go down to the next color. If this color is too light for me, I'm gonna go down to the next color right there and use that one. Actually, I might just use a little bit of both. Let me go ahead and just use a little bit. Or do this side. See, now I'm having a hard time imagining how I can incorporate Trophy Wife into into this. I, I have no idea how I'm going to do that, you guys, because it just doesn't seem like it, it's meant to go in there together. So, I'm, I'm going to try just because I am trying on everything. I did say I was going to try it. So, just a little. Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That can definitely Look at that. Look at the shift in it. Wow. Okay. Here I go. Wow. Wow. I don't know if you guys can, how well you can see that in the camera. I'm just lightly dusting this on. I'm liking that a lot. That's a lot of fun. I am enjoying that. I gotta be careful not to be a little he heavy handed. And then I can take my finger and do some on the tip of my nose. Okay, now the lipstick is this color here. See, yeah, with the lipstick like that, that is a statement lipstick. You could actually almost like not wear anything else, maybe some mascara and put this lipstick on and call it a day. That is pretty powerful. <laughs> wow. But I really do like this look. I'm just not used to wearing such a bold lipstick. I'm used to either a brighter, bold eyeshadow, but not a lipstick that that's bold. But I'm liking this look. I this is fun. This kind of was a good mood lifter. I'm, I'm glad I was able to play around with my, with my, my box. So this month's BoxyCharm Premium Fenty Beauty uh, BoxyCharm collab, I think was great. I like everything. I can use it and put a full face on, on for the most part, go ahead and use it almost right away. Instantly. I even use the blotting, um, tissue paper before I went to put on makeup just to blot off a little bit of the sweat. It's a little humid in my house right now. So I was able to use everything in here and I, I'm kind of upset that I didn't do that this morning because 
I actually could have worn this to <laughs> outside, but oh well, now I know for next time. So why don't you guys go ahead, comment below, let me know what you think of the items that are received in my box. I think it was a good value. I'm no complaints here for me. I'm pleased with just about everything in here. I almost forgot to put a little bit of this on here. This is the lip balm. Yes, I'm loving it. I'm loving, I'm loving all of this. This is great. I'm definitely going to look into getting more Fenty Beauty products, especially, hopefully, if they're on sale. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm still going to look some way, somehow, to get some more of this. This is high quality products. The eyeshadow palette, beautiful colors. Didn't have a lot of um, dust powder all on my face. The highlighter, as you can tell, very flattering. I was a little hesitant looking at how how gold that is, but that works out really nice. That's flattering. Um, I think I put a little too much on my Cupid's bow, but other than that, I I like it. I love it. I love it. Why don't you go help me out, you guys? Give Rate this video. Let me know what you think of it. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you think I could have done better. I appreciate that. Either way, you're helping me out, you guys. Um, comment down below. Are you a BoxyCharm Premium subscriber? Are you just a Fenty Beauty fan? What do you think of these items? Have you had a positive experience with them? Not so positive experience? Let me know. Remember, makeup hues and views is not makeup hues and views without your views or in other words, your opinions, what you guys think as well. So until I see you guys next time, I hope you have a great day, a great week great month, great year, just overall, just have a great life and take care guys.